Now the key thing here to, to pick up from this then is one thing that instructors want you to know is that the, new, the electrophiles you've learned about specifically in lecture are not the only electrophiles that can attack benzene. For example, we've learned about how halogens can attack, and we've learned about how nitric acid can attack, and it put in the nitro group, and we've learned about how sul um, sulfur trioxide can attack, and um, how alkanoid hal halides can attack. But they want you to know that anything with a big positive character can attack benzene. Anything with a big positive character can attack benzene. Well, um, we know that this is very eager to donate proteins, uh, to, to, to donate protons here, the tritium protons. So that can also attack the benzene um, electrophilically, even though you haven't learned about it specifically in class. So on the test, you can expect to see electrophiles you've never seen before. Even if you, there's an electrophile you've never seen before, you would expect it to do a similar electrophilic reaction. And this really was an EAS reaction, right? It was an electrophilic aromatic substitution. Except instead of substituting a bromine for the hydrogen or a nitro group for the hydrogen, we've, attacked, we've just substituted one isotope of hydrogen for a different isotope of hydrogen. So the next one, I think the OH is going to protonate and that's going to attack the tertiary carbon. It's going to be HPO3. Is the same? Oh. I a different one. Let me see. CH, so that's tertiary. Well, I think you're going to get like oh. this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't have that one in my book. One of the reagents. H3PO4. Like this? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and what was your suggestion? We have two suggestions. I think it'll add a torpedo group. And you think? Maybe HPO3. Um. OK. So let's go through your idea. What do you think? Let's go through the mechanism. What do you think is going to happen first here? I think that the oxygen will get protonated from the H3PO4, right. creating a tertiary carbocation. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. So the big thing here is, this is just the, the idea I was just making on the previous problem. They're going to give you new electrophiles you haven't seen before and expect you to add those in in electrophilic aromatic substitutions. Anything that has a big positive character is going to be a good electrophile for electrophilic aromatic substitution. So what was the purpose of this acid here? Well, the purpose of the acid, well, does this have a good leaving group? Um, yes. No. I oh, no. Not to start with. Gets yeah. A neutral oxygen is not a good leaving group, um, but this acid here makes it into a good leaving group. So first we use the acid to protonate the alcohol, and would we expect this? And we would expect this to leave right away because that gives us with a tertiary carbocation. And now we just do a normal electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's true that we haven't seen. So um, in the past we saw how to add carbon chains doing a, a friedel crafts type reaction. Well, this is just an alternative to the friedel crafts type reaction. Another way to get a carbocation that's going to attach. And that'll leave us with this. So we want to watch out for any good electrophiles, not just the ones that we specifically learned about in class. And if the reaction involves an acid, you're probably going to use the acid to make one of the molecules have a better leaving group. If the reaction has an acid, you're probably going to use that to make one of the molecules have a good leaving group. That's a, um, the, the one that we did before with the tritium was an exception. That was one case where the acid attacked the benzene directly. But that was because there was no one else around for it to be good to protonate. Here it can protonate the alcohol.
So again, we want to predict the major product. Let's see, did you read the hint there? Oh, into. I thought it said like. Okay, so the hint really gives the game away. They told us that this starting material is going to dissociate into these two things. Well, this one's not going to be the electrophile. This is going to be the electrophile. By the way, we've already learned another way to put a nitro group on. How do we usually put nitro groups on? And H2SO4. that's right, we need the H2SO4 as well. That really is the same thing because HNO3 plus sulfuric acid also generates this nitro cation. So this is just a different way to, nit to generate the nitro cation. So they're still testing the idea that there are other ways to generate electrophiles than the ones you specifically learned about in lecture. So here's our product. Okay, good. What's going to happen first here? The H3PO4 will permeate the aluminum bond, the outside carbon chunk. You're right, it's better to put the proton here because that gives us the more stabilized cation, and then we can do our normal electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Uh, and then after the aromaticity reforms, I think you both got the right product. So again, they're just showing us one more way to get a carbocation. And again, as usual, we're using an acid to get the carbocation. Some numbers. Yeah. So let's go back and uh, Yeah, you're gonna get both products. Talk about this a little bit. Doesn't it say to draw the major product? Yeah. Okay, so at first we're going to get something that looks like this. Now, uh, there's definitely the potential for rearrangements here. Um, and they want the major product. So which of these carbons is most likely to end up being our electrophilic carbon here? Hmm, this is tough. The second carbon. The secondary one. Because yeah. it probably can't go all the way to the tertiary, right? No, even if it does go all the way to the tertiary, you can't attack it because then it'll have five bonds. That's what I almost did. So it has to be on the secondary one. So you're suggesting something like this. Okay. 
So you're suggesting that uh, we would rearrange to put the primary charge on this carbon, but it would really even prefer to be on this carbon. But even if it's on that carbon, you can't attack that carbon. I'll go So if now we do an alkyl shift, now we've made a tertiary carbocation. 